Hello world. Thank you for so much for joining. My name is Brandy Camacho. I'm with the developer relations team at C Labs working on Cello. I'm here today with Samir, a uh, special guest discussing about the SDK for Flutter. Samir, you want to do a brief intro about yourself? Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks, Brandy. So currently I am based out of Bangalore, India, and I am working as a full-time software engineer, mainly on Flutter for a startup. And Cello, uh, in, I was a part of the Cello India Fellowship, which aimed to bring Cello community to India and introduce Cello and uh, enrich developers towards the Web3 world. And it was definitely a great experience. And uh, we, we are about to see where I have come uh, along all this journey. That's amazing. Yes, I've been following you for a little bit. As you know, we connected a few times to discuss about the needs for a Flutter SDK. And this is something in development. Now, previously we had a streamcast in regards to native development. There's a lot of stuff that we're working on uh, for Cello to provide community tools. And we kind of want to spotlight the community and the efforts that are going on. And the usage of uh, SDKs is one of the fastest ways for developers to build applications with ease. And I love what Samir is doing by trying to fill the gap. We have tooling and support for like React Native. We discussed earlier about some ways that you can implement with native uh, development, like with Android and then soon iOS. And now it's like, what about Flutter? There's a community there too. So maybe you can share a little bit about uh, why Flutter uh, is important to you. Uh, also share about a little bit about what you're working on. I heard you have a presentation maybe you can run through about the project. Yes, luckily I do. And I think we could share it. Oh, perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, let's just jump into it, Samir. Kick it off. Let's show the goods to the community. I'm sure that they would love to know what you've been working on with Flutter. Yep, totally. Is my screen visible? Perfect. Yeah, we got a beautiful white screen there, the flashlight. <laughs> yep. Okay. So I think, yeah. Nice. So, I would like to cover some things on what uh, I experienced during the Cello Fellowship and the aims, the projects, takeaways, and what way we're at and where we want to go ahead with this. So introducing, like I told, I'm all, I am based out of Bangalore and I'm currently working as a software engineer. And I was a part of the Cello India Fellowship, which was, I think, the first cohort of uh, the fellowship, uh, fellowship by Cello in India. And definitely it was a great experience learning about Web3 and I was able to successfully learn a lot about Web3 and dive in deep into the ecosystem. And luckily that has presented me with so many opportunities. And I see that I, I see that there is so much opportunity going on around Web3 and definitely the future is bright. And Celo being uh, Celo presents a unique pro prospect. And also uh, because it is a mobile first mobile first DeFi platform, that truly it enables uh, a lot of people who also do not have computers to connect to, to DeFi and do all kinds of things. So the first thing that I noticed even before I applied to the fellowship and the reason why I applied to the fellowship is because I saw the potential in Celo and I saw the great, amazing video about uh, how money can be uh, money can bring prosperity. And I was really impressed by the mission statement. And then I started going through the developer documentation and I realized that Cello doesn't actually have, uh, uh, doesn't support too many mobile platforms. They do have a good tooling for React Native, but then be, uh, I thought it was it would help them and it would help the community around Cello if there were more options presented. And since I was a Flutter developer, I have been doing it for the past two years and I absolutely love the way it works. And uh, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people do because it's fast and it, it's simply good. And now, and recently, uh, this year, it has it has been announced to a stable version, which supports all platforms, web, mobile, and desktop. So it could be a great choice if you're building, if you're trying, planning to build an app that supports all three platforms with a single code base. So this is the reason why I applied to the Cello India Fellowship to uh, help developers on the Cello platform as well as platform developers explore Cello, and so that we could bridge the gap that was there and uh, help more people build mobile apps on Cello. So uh, the idea was that to build a Dart SDK for Cello, and Flutter uses a lang language called Dart, which was initially developed by Google in around 2013. It is a simple object-oriented language. If you're familiar with Java, 
or any other type of object oriented language it should be sim very simple to pick up it has no other complications and uh, so uh, let's just get to why we need this and like uh, what is the difference like what are the core differences of the current existing uh, tooling that uh, cello has that is for react native and why flutter would be important or what are the benefits that it could have so flutter uh, like i said is a is a portable ui toolkit by google it was started in 2017 and now it has reached uh, version 2.5 and it is very stable running across all platforms and it provides a really cool uh, smooth ui and very quick development time it also has things like hot reload and hot restart which enable you to quickly refresh your app without any extra additional build times and it is also being supported in some, some embedded devices some of the companies you are utilizing this are uh, toyota who are putting flutter on uh, their cars and there are a lot more things to offer well on the react native side i am not personally uh, too experienced with react native but i have used it when i was uh, building for cello during the fellowship and uh, react native also has its uh, some of its perks that uh, that if you are already a react react developer and you are very familiar with javascript you will find react native as your place uh, for home i guess and react native also provides a mapping between the native widgets and uh, provides a react based syntax so this does help sometimes in quickly building ui if you are very comfortable with react native but on the other hand if you are comfortable with uh, object oriented programming flutter might be your take and uh, this is one of the major differences although react native doesn't support uh, building web web and desktop like you have react for web and then electron for desktop but react only uh, react native only supports building for ios and android the difference here is that uh, flutter also uses its own graphics engine to draw pixels on screen while react maps the react component to the native the spe specific native element and this is this is one of the major difference although they might look the same the underlying process is kind of vary but as developers i don't think this varies that much and it's just a personal preference of which you want to use uh, when uh, like i said if you're from a javascript background you might find react native really helpful and really easy to pick up and flutter also flutter will be easy for you if you're from a java background and another big thing is that both have their own communities and both have amazing tooling and uh, support for uh, dependencies and whatever extra things you want to do flutter has its own package manager called pub which uh, hosts a lot of uh, packages uh, developed by the community and maintained by the google team i uh, as according to my experience what i've seen is flutter comes uh, with a lot of out of the box widgets but react native comes with very less of them and most of them are relied on the uh, community so this might be some place where you want to use flutter where everything is pre built and it's very much easier to pick up things and you just have to import stuff and development is really really quick so talking about cello india fellowship uh, so this was something i stumbled upon by uh, not by intention either so it was completely random i was just surfing the web one day and i stumbled upon this and it was definitely one of the best experiences of, of my life and uh, it was also an hour, it also felt great to be selected uh, amongst only 10 people in india and definitely i want to drive cello's machine forward and i see it going into a bright future and this is why i wanted to help other developers who are looking forward to build mobile apps and who want to try or who have a preference towards another framework or give the developers developers options to try other frameworks and this is what i did during my project and the stats show it like flutter has been growing rapidly over the past few years and uh, if you take a look at several charts or even the performance benefits and the differences and how the community is growing flutter does seem to be really rising uh, rising at a good pace and Google might keep improving it, and there's good hope for Flutter, especially with the release of Fuchsia, Fuchsia OS that is upcoming, and Flutter is specifically de designed for Fuchsia. So it will be running on that as well. So coming to the SDK itself, I had few initial goals when I set it up since it was very experimental and I had very little knowledge about the underlying protocol. So my first uh, basic goals were to connect to the cellular network, create and fetch account details, and sign ins and transactions. Although I was able to partially or uh, achieve some of them fully and some of them partially, it was a bit of trial and error and a lot of uh, hard luck, <laughs> I would say. It I had to understand a lot of nuances, and 
then finally i was able to get some results and that is why we wanted to drive push this uh, push this project more further so that other people could utilize it and uh, one of the biggest reasons why i'm uh, why we are pushing for flutter for the flutter sdk and why it is also important is that like i said flutter is can render frames at 60 frames per second it can provide beautiful animations and uh, it is a really easy to pick up a development framework it provides rapid prototyping and uh, you can develop apps very quickly with it and uh cello on the other hand was also built for uh, easily connecting people around the world connecting all the smartphones around the world and making them making all the unbanked people gain access to money and uh, that can only be do done through cell phones and the flutter is a really good way to utilize this opportunity to build mobile apps day apps on cello and also cello sponsors a lot of hackathons and uh, like this one and the the main thing i see is that uh, most people use flutter in hackathons because it's really easy to rapidly prototype and using an building a native and building a native android app is not really that much of a viable option when you're attending a two day hackathon so it would be great if flutter was an option to all the community members especially during hackathons to provide build an mvp around and that is why this cello uh, dart sdk would really help the community to uh, to build you know innovative solutions on cello so here are some of the milestones that we might have to face more moving forward so currently the project is in very experimental stage and uh, uh, contains the bare minimum trial and error uh, code but we want to revamp it we want to restructure the code and make it an official sdk that people can use and rely on and here are some details so the first will be i think designing and uh, getting the clear picture of how the api implementation will look like and then we also need to make uh, different methods for querying transaction calls and uh, fetching the account balance and uh, such other such stuff so the third one will be to sign and send uh, cusd or cello and this is one of the main important features that will be required uh, by all d apps and there would be to read and write contracts so this way we could add additional functionality or protocol layers that could help uh, the uh, d apps communicate better and do additional functionality and uh, connecting it with a popular wallet like valora could also uh, reduce the reduce the stress on the app developers of the d app itself to manage the wallet as managing wallets are really hard because we have to keep track keep track and keep keep all the passphrases secure so it has a lot of uh, uh, minute details that need to be taken care of and valora does this really well and it would be great if the sdk could, could give an option for the developer to connect to valora instead and to make all the transaction calls so some of the things that i took away from uh, my time during the fellowship and when i was experimenting and trying to build make the sdk work was that it was really hard to uh, understand get a deep understanding of the underlying layer and also develop it required a lot of development and testing because some things didn't work uh, most of the time so it re really required quite, quite some patience and i also didn't know about all of the hashing algorithms or the underlying uh, algorithms that the protocol uses but while digging into the sdk and while digging into the protocol i got to learn a lot of things which uh, finally helped me i guess sort of make the transaction call su successfully and uh, it would also since i am like just a fresh graduate and i have uh, i don't have too many years of coding experience coding uh, like uh, coding properly so i did learn a bit of sdk engineering and how sdks are differently structured than a normal application and it it does take a lot of time so it wasn't easy for me alone to come up with this and that's why we are hoping to today introduce this to the community and uh, call, bring a call for the community to come and help help us build this so that it will be a great call it will be for a great cause and we can all uh, use the sdk to build amazing innovative solutions on cello so uh, this is the so the the github link will be available in the discord and you can connect with me on discord on cello's discord at uh, samir hash 9891 or on all my other, other social links to discuss more about this and we'll be set, setting up more and keeping you informed on the discord about uh, new updates that we have and also setting up the repository i guess uh, 
if you can have that, you can. Perfect, perfect. Job well done. I'm excited. We connected several times about the project. The first was about the scope of work, right? It's like when you look at developing an SDK for Cello, you're looking at first everything. You're like, how do I implement the smart contracts? How do I interface with, with the smart contracts? Make those calls, retrieve the information that's needed for the user experience. It's kind of inundating all the various tasks. And I think one of the biggest tips that we can share to the community, especially when you're working with stuff like building an SDK for community support, is to narrow down your scope of work and focus on the core deliverables that you can compound on in regards to providing tooling for the SDK. And that's what I loved about uh, some of the traction that you've done so far, Samir, was you took that advice and you started focusing like, how do I make sure that I sign a transaction efficiently with Dart? How do I make sure that I interact with a contract and you kind of narrow, narrowed it down. But it's still a lot of work, which is one reason why we want to do the cast today, because we know other people out there enjoy Flutter. Flutter is going to continue to make traction. It's a solid option for development work. One key resource that you mentioned was MVPs for hackathons. We have our uh, Make Crypto Mobile Hackathon going right now for MoFi, Mobile Finance, uh, DeFi. If you haven't signed up, go to d5forthepeople.org and join our hackathon. It's active now and there's still enough time. Over $2.5 million uh, available in prizes and funding for all the projects out there. And we would love, if you're interested to support Flutter to join the community, reach out to uh, Samir. So Samir, maybe you could talk about that. Like, what was what was that like for you when you first came up with the idea, let's, let's start an SDK for Flutter. Can you kind of share those emotions and those next steps? uh yeah definitely i think i have i've never personally built a, such a software like like an sdk i've mostly built apps and it was uh i think i initially didn't have any idea what i was doing but then once i started digging in it was overwhelming quite overwhelming and i had to <laughs> sort of settle in with my emotions and uh, take a deep breath and grasp it all in and then yeah as as I as I moved on, it became it became more and I got a bit more understanding of what how things were working, and yeah, I definitely allowed to like learn more and build more on this, and I think it does it did teach me a lot of the core engineering skills and something more than that that we don't get to see in like normal uh, day to day application development, that uh, yeah. the things like abstraction and actually structuring the API calls and uh, yeah, so those are those were some of the things. So you're talking about the lower level components that are the underpinnings of the technology, like working with the protocol, the RPC endpoints uh, with a node, that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what was what was the um, original initiative? So you came up with this idea. I'm going to start an SDK. You haven't done it before. You kicked it off. Kind of share, like, what was what was what's the tips for folks that have big ideas that want to get started and especially folks in the hackathon right now that are, are are actively thinking about ways they can be impactful as well maybe share that mentorship side of some of those learnings uh yeah i think uh initially i did st start off on the wrong foot and <laughs> i tried to do it all and yeah definitely your advice helped me quite a bit of trying to focus on the core things the the main smaller things that could be done, that could be achievable. So I would say like to all uh, to all the participants that uh, try to focus on what you know first already and some of the small deliverables that can be deliver, deliver, delivered quickly and then go on to implement the, the bigger things. And that way I think it's much easier and uh, much easier to develop, to be honest. So it sounds like you're basically saying it's all about the MVP, the minimal viable product. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's keep it. Let's keep our focus area narrow. Focus on the minimal pieces to deliver the use case, and then we can build from from there. That's that's what I'm taking away. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool. Why well, I love it. Job well done. I love the traction. You're making an impact. We need community support. That's what we are. Cello is a community. So if you're a developer, maybe you're looking into Flutter. Maybe you have experience. Join Samir on his journey to establish an SDK for engineers. Be impactful on the global uh, accessibility front. 
for both MVP development. As you notice, Flutter is a fantastic way to rapidly prototype an MVP for hackathons, but it's much more than that. It's just not even just specific to MVPs. Flutter is a solid uh, solution for building uh, cross-platform uh, apps, right? The ability to have uh, mobile uh, and desktop all in one package is quite beneficial. So take a look, please, Follow up with uh, Samir Pingham. He would love to chat with you if you're interested in participating in this sandbox on the journey of development for an SDK uh, with Flutter, uh, reach out. Hey, Samir, thank you so much for sharing your journey. Super important for folks like you to share and collaborate. And also, I love the fact that you're being a solid mentor uh, to, provide, to provide lessons learned and you're available. I love that, thank you. Yeah, totally. All right. Well done, Samir. And thank you so much for joining us today. You have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.